Hi everyone, this is Barbie with Genius Designs. This is what we're making today. This fabric is a leopard glitter vinyl from Sam's Fabric, Sam Fabric Creations. I'll link it in the description. Isn't it gorgeous? This front zipper pocket. And then I use um, Lux Nylon from Wonder Brown for the lining. You'll see as we make it. Go get the pattern and let's get started. I'll link the pattern in the description. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, this is Barbie with Jeannie's Designs. This is what we're making today. The Bricks Bag. This is my personal one that I carry every day. So you have a front zipper pocket that is perfect for the cell phones plus a pen or whatever else you want to put in there. And then you have a big interior with a slip pocket and a zipper pocket. Now, I carry a purse pouch, a Jordan pouch, a sunglass case, some sanitizer, and a few other tiny little things like lip, lip uh, chapstick, and it's plenty big. You could put more in it. So I'm making another one. I just love this bag. And let me show you what I'm making it out of. Some pretty wild. Here's the pattern. It's uh, the Bricks Bag by Sarah Merriam. She, uh, the pattern comes with a tall version or a wide version. I'm making the wide version. I love it. So, this is the main gusset bottom, and I'm doing it out of this uh, kind of a leopard glitter pink vinyl, and for the inside, I'm using the pink Theratex. Love it. That is the bottom, the main gusset bottom. And I'm also going to put a piece of Lux, Lux Fuse on there. And then the um, main gusset zipper, the same thing. Um, these two fabrics plus a piece of Lux Fuse. Mm -hmm. The front pocket gusset, same thing, except I'm not putting any Lux Fuse on the front piece. The front pocket I'm doing um, out of these two, just like I have done the other ones. Um, there is an interior slip pocket and, I'm, and a zipper pocket, so I'm using the Theratex. For the slip pocket, I'm using a piece, accent piece for the top. For the front pocket, I'm putting a piece of Lux Fuse, and for the back panel, I'm putting a piece of Lux Fuse. And what I did for these, I just cut an extra piece and cut around out of the seam allowance. So my back panel, there's one of these, and then there's three linings out of the Theratex. I don't know what I called it before, but it's Theratex. And then two D-rings out of the Leopard. Um, I'm gonna do my handle out of the Leopard. We'll work on that first. And then the front top is out of my Leopard. I, I think the next time I make this, because this won't be the last, I'm going to do a little, um, two fabrics on the outside, so we'll see. And then for my hardware, I'm using rose gold hardware, so pink zipper tape with rose gold. I have a wide slider. I have two one-inch swivel clasps. I have two one-inch D-rings. And then I have five zipper pulls, number five zipper pulls, because there's two on the front pocket, two on the main, and then one on the inside. And then there are going to be a few rivets for that as well. I am using an 18 gauge needle, and um, I'm using this uh, kind of a pink coral fabric by um, uh, Sly Swag, and it's number Tech 70. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is my two D-rings, so it's just a two-inch piece, divided down the middle, and just putting our raw side, long sides together. And then we will sew those together. 
top stitch on each side. Alright, so you saw me do my D-rings and I've just set those aside for the moment. Now we're going to do our crossbody strap, folding those in to the center, leaving about an eighth inch between each raw edge so we have room for it to fold on itself. And I'll do that on fast forward. All right, so I put two rivets there instead of sewing across there. I just, I've gotten kind of in the habit of doing that. I just think it looks better. So. All right, so take your front pocket gusset and your zipper. Here's my uh, crossbody strap. Beautiful. And put your poles on. Don't forget to put your poles on. And we're going to lay our exterior right side down and our interior right side down. And we're going to clip those together. And I'm just trying to get them as even as I can. She gives you um, the length of the zipper tape for both the tall and the wide. So just be careful about which one you're choosing. And then sew that in together. I 
I wondered how that would go with this zipper tape. It looks pretty good, really. All right, now we're gonna put it over on the other end. And do the same thing. You guys should be so proud of me. I rode my bike for um, twice as long as I've ridden it before. I love it. That's perfect. All right, so let's put these together. Just like that. And we're going to clip them together and sew and baste them together on each end. All right, so on your zipper gusset, mark your centers on your zipper and on your um, other, your bottom gusset of your zipper. And then take your front pocket and put those wrong sides together. This is a bound bag, and we're just going to baste those together. Um, I'm trying to decide which side to do it from. I think I'll just do it here. And as it goes, this is not a hard bound bag, I don't think. Okay, I have a little hangover here. Not literally. Okay. All right, next step. All right, so uh, mark your centers on your top and your bottom of your front. And then we're going to clip that on and sew it at the seam allowance in the pattern. It's not a big seam allowance, so this one isn't. I don't know how I feel about this <laughs> leopard print yet. Um, it's a little sticky. You know, that's what a lot of glitter uh, prints are, sticky. I don't sew with a lot of glitter. I hate to say it, I just don't do it. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, I didn't have to clip my corners, and it doesn't appear that I'm going to have to. I'm going to ever so slightly, yeah, clip them if you need to. I just did a tiny bit. 
so it would go on there nicely. And same thing probably over here. Tony's out giving Jackie a bath. I'm going to have to go look. Okay. All right. Let's just base this on. And I'm going to start on the bottom. I'm not basting it on. I'm sewing it on. She does talk about basting it first. If you feel like you need to do that, I would go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, it's a good idea to turn it right side out and test your zipper before you put your binding on. Just make sure everything is smooth. This side in particular has nothing um, separating it from the zipper, which, you know, a lot of people don't do that anymore because it creates a problem. I don't think, I haven't had a problem with any of the ones I've done, so. Famous last words. Now we're just gonna put the binding on here. And I'm using some hot pink binding. <laughs> oh dear. Clipping any threads so they don't get in my way. 
and peek through. Okay. And just like with any other, uh, this is fold over elastic and you do need to stretch it a little. It just makes it look better. And that's what it's meant to do. Stretch. Now, when I get up here to my zipper, I'm going to be very aware of how much <clears throat> elastic is next to my zipper. Because I do not want that getting in my way. I'll probably end up having more on the underside, which is absolutely fine. Let's do it. And just take your time with this. I'm actually going to do it from this side because I want to uh, be on this side of my zipper. So let's start over here. So I can just pay attention to where I am on my zipper.
All right, so your front top piece, mark your centers. And we're going to attach that to the other side of our zipper. And she recommends basting this from, basting it first and um, doing it from the center out. And I did do that last time and I do think it's a little easier when you do it that way, personally. It's kind of an odd shaped piece but it goes, it really goes on pretty well. And it's actually fairly forgiving, believe it or not. Okay. So that's what it's going to end up being like that. Cute, cute, cute. So I am going to do it. I'm gonna base it first from the center. I'll show you how it looks. It's, uh, just go slow. It's not hard, it's just awkward. I'll show you here. So that's how it's supposed to look. Just curve that right there. Now let's do the other side. I didn't really get, I didn't really start at the center. That's kind of funny, Lord. But let's do the rest of it. Now, I am going to go back, let me show you what it looks like, and I'm going to um, do the full seam allowance. Mm -hmm. It's just awkward. It's not hard at all. Okay, so that is what it looks like. And from this side, you can see I just did a basting stitch. And now I'm going to go back and do uh, the full seam allowance. All right, let's do it. Perfect.
All right, next step. All right, so take one of your lining pieces and lay that right side down because we're creating that internal zipper pocket. So now it's gonna all be in there. So the first thing you wanna do is we're gonna stitch around this top. And it's uh, probably gonna be easier if we have the zipper open. I'm gonna start with it closed. So I'm gonna start right here. And open your zipper because we want that zipper, this part underneath. We don't want to see that. So we're going to top stitch that closed. is underneath here. I'm gonna close my zipper so I can get it nice and straight. No, I was going to, but I guess I'm not. Okay, now we're gonna just base the rest of it on, eighth of an inch. To show you something that you may run into, and it's okay if you do. So, there is our front zipper pocket. Now, I ran into this up here because my seam allowance wasn't quite three eighths is what it should be. But look at the size of that zipper pocket that's your front zipper pocket, it's huge. I love it. Okay. So that front section is done for now. And actually I missed a little bit here. So I'm just gonna bear it with that. I don't want that coming loose on me. Same thing over here. I didn't cut my pieces very well evidently. All right, let's set that aside for just a minute. 
All right, next we're gonna create our slip pocket. So it's just these two pieces, right sides together. And we're gonna stitch all the way around, but leave a turning hole. All right, so create your zipper pocket on one of your um, pocket linings and attach it to the front side of your remaining lining piece. And we're gonna stitch around that. box Okay, and then we're going to pull that to the back. Now, if you're like mine, and if your fabric does not um, iron very well, I am going to use some pieces of double-sided tape here and um, on the top part. If you have something that irons really well, you don't need to do this. Definitely I would iron as opposed to using tape. Whoops, I put it on the wrong side. That's okay. Now yeah, let's put another piece. Just know your machine. If your machine can't handle all this step aside tape, then I wouldn't do it. some tape to that. Okay. 
Now, my zipper pull is going to the left. So I'm gonna add that top first. Make sure my zipper, ooh, my zipper pull is stuck. There we go. Okay. Pull off the bottom. Beautiful. Now we're going to just sew around our box. And I'm going to pull those threads to the back. I backed it, so I don't know if it's going to let me pull my thread. We'll see. Probably not. Okay. Now we're just going to overlay our other pocket. And this is a bound bag, so we're not leaving any pockets open. We're going to sew that closed. Right, take your zipper and lay it right side up. Make sure your zipper pulls are on. And this is our back zipper panel. And we are going to lay that. It's easier for me to do it this way. And I'm just using tape. So right sides down. I 
I only used eighth inch double side tape, so I don't know how strong it'll be. Now I'm gonna take off and attach my lining as well. This is just like any other gusset that you add the bottoms to. Okay, so I'm gonna add that here on the wrong side of the zipper. That way I just have to do one seam. So that's what you have. Your zipper is sandwiched in between. It's a beautiful thing. Turn that wrong sides together and we're going to top stitch and then baste all those three raw sides closed. Again, if you're using fabric that you can iron that is optimal, I would iron it now. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, next step. All right, now add your D-rings. And I put mine so that the end of my D-ring is about a quarter inch from the end of my zipper uh, gusset here. And then I left about, um, about three eighths to a half inch off the end. And I'm just gonna baste those in place. On both ends. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna add our gusset. And I did on both my um, zipper gusset and my bottom gusset, I did add a piece of Lux Fuse. So now we're gonna add these right sides together, my bottom gusset. Just like that, and I'm also gonna add my lining gusset. All right sides together. And we're gonna sew that at the seam allowance in the pattern. Yep. your D-ring. Mine's nice and flat. Okay. And then we're going to do the exact same thing over here. Now we're going to turn that right side out. My uh, Lux Fuse is coming loose there, so I'm just going to add a piece of tape. No big deal. same thing here and baste this bottom gusset together after we top stitch. We can top stitch before, it doesn't really matter. All right, I put a rivet underneath each of my D-rings, so one here and one here. And now put your two pieces together and we're gonna find the centers on all four sides. On your zipper, you're just gonna wanna mark your center rather than snip it. I know there are people that do a lot of snipping on zippers and I'm sure it's fine. I just, I don't feel comfortable with it. I think it uh, decreases the integrity of the zipper. But that is just me, you do you. So for this, I'm just gonna mark it. All right. 
So our gusset is done and now we're ready to attach it. Next. So the next step is to put your um, two pieces together. So this is my front where I'm gonna have my slip pocket. So I am just going to put those together and baste all the way around. All right, so take your gusset and we're putting the front with the zipper, the unsewn zipper. This uh, glitter vinyl is very sticky. You saw in my fast forward, I had to go over some a couple times because the uh, bed of the machine got a hold of the stickiness. So. There's my front and my uh, zipper is right side down. And it will really help to have a zipper foot on this portion. And it also helps to open your zipper. Use as many clips as it takes. I'm probably gonna have to get some more. All right, let's attach. Checking where all my zipper poles are. Okay. And 
then this one, I'm gonna pull up just till I can get past it. Okay, let's just see if we caught everything and how our corners look. Oh my, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, that looks so good. This is just um, the hair there. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's turn it upside out and let's put our um,
Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the other side. This will be easier because there's no zipper. Much easier. All right, let's turn it right side out. See how we did, the binding was not too bad. You know, again, you have to choose your fabrics carefully. In retrospect, this vinyl is probably too thick for something like this, although it's fine with my machine. Would never think about doing it on a domestic, this vinyl. Good. I'm just looking as I go to make sure I caught everything. And there aren't any rawness exposed. <laughs> it's so cute. I mean, I love this fabric. It's just very, you know, glitter vinyl is very sticky. That is so cute. Ooh. Let me look at my front pocket for a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here it is. Let's put our crossbody strap on. shorter or whatever you'd like. Here's your front. I gotta take the plastic off our zipper pulls, but there's the front. 
perfect for a cell phone and some pens and whatever you'd like. The zipper works perfectly. And then here, there is a slip pocket in front and a zipper pocket in back, which is a pretty good size zipper pocket. You know, I've made one and I did not put two zipper pulls. I would always put two zipper pulls. When I carried the black one, I had two zipper pulls. Look at that. The Bricks Bag by uh, Sarah Merriam. It is absolutely adorable. The tag, my tag's on the back. Go get the pattern and get get started. It is so cute, you're gonna love it. I would, for your first one, I'd go with lighter weight fabrics. There is um, Lux Fuse on the back and on the front panel um, and on the sides, but otherwise there is no, actually Lux Fuse only on the pocket. There is no interfacing on this piece. So the back, the gussets and this piece. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and comment.